What's going on, Warriors? It's your boy, Lionheart, and I'm back. Feels good, man. First of all, let's do the housekeeping. Thank you so much. Everyone that is watching right now, subscribed, sharing, commenting, giving me your feedback. Helping me out, inspiring me, giving me advice, motivating me to keep on doing videos, letting me know of topics um, basically to cover, um, games to play. Look, it means a lot. It really does. Your words of encouragement, it motivates me to keep on doing this thing, right? And keep on doing this thing, I shall, yeah? And it starts right now, yeah? Unbelievable. Today, Microsoft... These guys are crazy. The Empire strikes back. They ain't going quietly, man. Just when you thought Sony put Microsoft or Xbox, let's just say Xbox, in a casket and threw them into the sea. Xbox are not having it. They battering on the inside of that casket and they say, we ain't going. We ain't are not going. I ain't fucking leaving. The show goes on. <laughs> Man, today Bethesda they bought Bethesda Studios. They well they bought Zenimax, and in buying Zenimax, the parent company of Bethesda, that means that now they control and own Bethesda Studios, ID Software. Zenimax Online, Arcane Studios, Machine Games, Tango Gameworks, Alpha Dog, Roundhouse Studios, which basically means that they now own Elder Scrolls, Fallout, Wolfenstein, Dishonored, Evil Within, Prey, Rage, Quake. And Starfield. I don't get it. I don't get it. This is madness. And let's not forget, just the other day, like a couple days ago, yeah, or maybe a week or so, a week or so ago, yeah. EA Play is now on Xbox Game Pass at no additional cost. So if you own Xbox Game Pass, you will have EA Play. And now they have Bethesda? That's madness! We always knew that Microsoft are almost untouchable when it comes to value for money and customer service. No one can touch them. Sony can't touch them. But it's the games, yeah? Sony have got Final Fantasy. They have got Spider-Man. They've got Horizon Zero Dawn. They've got God of War. They've got Street Fighter. They've got Guilty Gear x Or the Guilty Gear games. I can't remember what the new one is called, right? But they've got the Guilty Gear franchise. They have Persona franchise. They have like the Disgaea, Disgaea franchise. They've just, they've got too much. It's ridiculous, right? So, but I don't like it. I don't like how the idea of Sony dominating and controlling so much of the market share of the video game um, industry. I don't like it. Just because you have to have competition for a company to step up. Imagine if Microsoft never came out with Xbox... 499 and in the UK 449 imagine Microsoft never did that and Sony could price the PlayStation whatever price they wanted they had no choice well they did have a choice but not really because the price of the PlayStation games are going to be really expensive yeah but they put the price down to the same price as Xbox in order to destroy them, to vanquish them. And I believe they have pretty much vanquished Xbox. Well, that is until this. 
they bought Zenimax Bethesda for 7.5 billion. They ain't paying about. This is not a joke to them. Now I like Xbox more, right? Because they show the Empire has shown that they got fight in them. And they understand the worth of gaming. And they're going to fight. I like it. And this is a colossal galactic move to own Elder Scrolls, Fallout, Wolfenstein, Doom, Dishonored. You've got Arcane. They have now got Arcane Studios on their side. That's mad. That studio, Arcane Studios and Tango Gameworks, those are two of the companies that I respect the most in terms of their ability to make games and the quality of their games, right? Like, look at Deathloop, for example. That game looks incredible, right? The Wolfenstein games, right? The actual gameplay in Wolfenstein is godlike, right? And you can see that in Deathloop. I'm, on, I'm into Deathloop. I'm getting that game. 100%, right? So, yeah, I really wanted to say that this is an absolute colossal galactic power play, yeah? Look, the ball is now in Sony's court, and I don't know what they could do, basically, against that. I mean, PlayStation are in a good place right now, right? They are just killing it, right? But the future, Xbox can win, but this is in the future depending on the direction that they go with Bethesda if they make Bethesda step it up then we're going to see some incredible stuff Warriors I want to say thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and sharing and liking and right now if you're still watching thank you you're the best you guys yeah so look I'm going to end it here I'm going to say thank you for watching and please Keep um, commenting, commenting and sharing your words, your thoughts, your ideas, your perspectives with me because I, I'm here, man. I'm listening. And also, I've got a Discord, right? So, yeah, if you want to join me on Discord, Discord is right there. The link is down um, in the description. And, yeah, let's do it, man. Let's push on. All right, Warriors. Laters.